What's up everybody? I just want to give you a quick talk about my Top Fin 5 gallon retreat tank that I've had for a few years and that I've decommissioned um, and just recently brought this tank back up and running for about two months. So I want to kind of give you a little rundown of the basic setup and general things to know whenever you do or potentially want to buy this tank. Um, so this is a 5 gallon Top Fin tank. Um, there's not really too many bad things that I have to say about it. Just um, the back reservoir, if you are buying this tank, I suggest buying some um, filter floss from Pet Supplies. And what you do is you take the filter floss and you cram it down the back and right down here, cram it down it real tight. So if you are keeping shrimp or anything, that um, this will be blocked and no shrimplets can get stuck in the back. Um, the other bad thing that I have to say about this tank, which I've never had this happen to me personally, was um, the pumps going out. There is a small pump in the back that does run the tank. Um, it is adjustable um, and you can lower down the flow. Um, mine is up pretty high and this tank usually I, I keep the water level a little bit higher but people have reported those going out and they say that the pumps don't, um, they're, they're kind of crappy. Well honestly they're, it's a cheap fix. The only thing I have to say about that is if you do get a new pump you know they should be relatively cheap and um, they're pretty much you know it's not that expensive to replace as like opposed to something like a fluval flex that has a bigger pump that's cost more money so um, but other than that the filtration is really good I think these take the RFL filters that you can get at um, PetSmart and you can usually get a good deal on those I think they come in a three pack or a six pack and the three pack usually lasts for um, three months or so. I usually let mine run as long as I can, um, but I do like, really like the filters. Um, if you're looking in to get this top fin five gallon retreat tank, I will say that this thing runs like a champ. It continues to run, and the only problems that you'll have is if the filter starts to get clogged, which also, if you're using filter floss, it doesn't seem to get clogged as fast as what I would say personally. It actually it just runs and runs and runs so you can get up to a month at least three weeks or four weeks depending on if you're running fertilizers or not you might want to uh, uh, change more you know it, the, there's carbon in the in the filter packs so I don't know if you're choosing to run fertilizers or what the deal is with the, with the fertilizers that the, I will say that carbon does suck up um, most most fertilizers so um, I don't personally use um, any fertilizers with this tank um, but as far as everything goes in this tank it is super simple um, I just have a lot of a, jo a lot of Java moss um, tied to uh, tied to everything with a fishing line with the clear uh, six pound monofilament light fishing line um, I do have a mixture of carob sea plant substrate in here as well as black diamond blasting sand substrate which if you're not familiar with that I love black diamond blasting substrate you can go to um, Tractor Supply Co and you can pay f uh, ten dollars for fifty pounds of it and then what you do is you come home and you give it a light um, soak and rinse and it comes clean really quick so that's really good um, I'm not too much of a, of a fan of the carob sea plant substrate it is really jagged um, and it can potentially hurt their mouths if if they um, are picking at it, especially if it's a bottom feeder or something that um, sifts through um, the gravel. I wouldn't recommend the plant or the carob sea plant substrate. So um, here soon, I'm going to put a sand cap on this tank because my girlfriend might be wanting to get some pygmy cories in here, and um, that'll be a lot nicer for their mouth and their barbels to um, stay uh, healthy so but other than that I do have some uh, Anubis in here I have two Anubis which is funny because these Anubis their plants just are growing or the roots are just growing right up the filter <laughs> it's kind of funny I think I have a little bit of black beard algae right there which is kind of neat um, but also in the back I do have just some Dragonstone as you can see back there um, and actually today we're I made this video because I will be trimming this hornwort it is overgrown like to the max I bet you this hornwort is like 10 feet long if you were to take it out so we're gonna trim that up and um, 
we're gonna bring it back so I can see all this Java moss that I've tied to sticks back here. So, but being a five gallon tank, I don't have any, you know, no no bigger fish, a lot of nano fish species. Um, this is um, a dwarf or a ornate climbing perch female. And I'm gonna feed her a little bit of the baby brine shrimp, which she loves. Um, but I wish I could find a male for her. Um, but it is a female ornate climbing perch. Um, I also have some killifish in here. Um, I have two males and one female right now. The other female, like I said, she, well, if I don't know if I mentioned that, her head got stuck into the inlet and she passed away. So, which is kind of sad to see. Also, two, I do have um, a pair of Pseudomagill Gertrude rainbow fish which is a nano fish species and I also have um, two males and two female um, dwarf emerald rasboras and I love them they're one of my favorite fish they're a little bit shy so you'd want to plant it, a tank that's you know heavily planted for them to hide in um, but I do have some nice males with some good coloration and my other female she's really big looks like she's filled with eggs so um, what I'm using here is the uh, instant baby brine shrimp that I do get off Amazon and it's like $14 and it's really good for the golden wonder killifish fry that I have and all around it's good for small fish um, that are fried that have really, really tiny mouths so it's they're very very tiny I think that it is a hatched um, baby brine that is not live but I think it is in a saline solution so um, if you're wondering about what where to get this you get that on Amazon um, it's for fry and um, it has it's perishable within six weeks so it gives you a good six week window of um, keeping it in the refrigerator of when to uh, get rid of it and how long to use it but I do say I, that the the brine does suspend really well um, so it hits all um, the higher in the water column lower in the water column column and then it goes to the bottom so, um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, I'm just going to kind of be doing some um, small reviews and small talks about some of my setups. Um, I've been kind of busy lately, so I haven't been uploading as much with everything, but I will be having some more spare time here to upload some of my videos and compose some more uh, longer content, videos with longer content. So, um, but I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Like I said, like sub um, and if you do plan on getting this top from retreat tank um, I do give it an all-around thumbs up because I do really like these um, they probably may have revised the tank this is like the version one they might have revised it I'm not sure about that but as far as everything goes the filter the, the quality and how everything runs I think it's a good tank so alrighty well thank you have a good day see ya